Hello friends, if you want to create and update using forms in Laravel, you can use a single form for both add and edit. You don't need to create two separate forms. I'll show you how you can add and edit product categories using a single form or a single blade file by creating an entire application using Laravel 10. Okay, we'll create a project in Laravel 10. So I have a Laravel folder. I'll go to common prompt. And here let us create a project. We'll give the project name as Lara form. So we are creating a project in Laravel 10 and our project name is Lara underscore form. So it will take some time. While the project is being created, let us create a database for the project. So we'll create a new database. We'll give the database name as Lara form. So database is created. So our project is created now. So you can see there is a folder lara underscore form created under laravel directory. Let us open this project in VS code. Let us run PHP artisan serve. So if we run it now, okay, the project is running fine. We will update the environment file for database name. We will change the database name to Lara form. Let us go to the terminal. So we will have a new table called categories. We will create the category model along with the migration. So minus same option will create the migration file also. Okay, so the model is created app models category dot php and we have that database migration file also created create categories table we will have two fields for this categories table we'll add name and description for the category let us run the migration So the migration is completed. Let us just check the database. So the tables have been created. This is the categories table. And if you see the structure name and description have been added for this table. We will now create a resource controller. So we are creating category controller with minus minus resource option which will create the standard methods for the CRUD operation. So the controller is created. So this is the controller where we have the standard methods index create store show edit update and destroy. We will add a resource route also. So let us update the route. So we will have the standard routes available for this uh, category route. These are the routes we can use for this application. Categories.index, create, store and edit and update. Let us now update the controller. Let us close this for now. So in the index function we will just select everything from the categories table and we will call a index view to display all the categories in a html table.
so we are selecting from the category table order by name then we are calling the index view so we'll have to create the views now so let us go to the views folder so first we'll create the layouts we'll create header layout master layout and then we'll create index view So we'll get the links for the bootstrap file. So we'll take the bootstrap file, copy it, and then paste it here. Okay, now let us change the title. We'll also add a link for our custom style sheet. So we'll create a CSS folder. Under that, we'll have the style.css. So let me just add it here. We'll just keep the head section. We'll remove this. Now we'll create a master layout. So this is our master layout. We'll use it for the other views. So let us now create the index view. So in the index view, we'll display all the categories in a HTML table. So let us create a HTML table. So for the table, we'll have a name and description. Along with that, we'll display serial number, and we'll also add a action field. So in a loop, we will display the categories. From the index method, we have already selected the data. We will use it here. For the action, we'll keep it blank as of now. We'll add it later. In case there is no data, we'll just display no data found. Let us just use a column span. So we are displaying all the categories in a HTML table here. We'll add the edit action later. So our index view is created. Now let us just run it and see. We have to see our routes here. So for index, we have the categories URI. So we'll use it here. So we'll use it slash categories. Okay, so it is displayed. We will add a few styles here. So for CSS, we have to, if you see our header, we have added CSS style.css. So we'll create a CSS folder.
we'll give some background color and color for the header and we'll align them in the middle we'll reduce the width also We we'll just add a heading. Okay, so now let us just add one row and see how the data is displayed in the table. So we we'll just manually create one row. So let us now add a button here on the right side to add the new category. So since we are adding the category, so we'll have the route. So we'll have the create route categories dot create. Okay, so we'll just put it on the right side. Let us add a few classes here. Okay, so now, so we have to now write code for the create method in controller. So now we'll create a new view add category. So we'll create an add form here. We'll display the validation error here. Let us just copy this for the description also. So we'll add a submit button also. Okay, now, so for the add form, we'll have the route categories.store. This is our add form. Let us just add a heading here. Now we need to add code for the store method in controller. So we have to validate the name and description and then we'll insert a row in the category model. And in case of error, we'll display the message.
will display validation message also user friendly message we'll use try catch here so we are creating a row in category model so we are using name and description and then once it is inserted successfully we'll display a message and redirect the user to the index page so for index we have the route categories dot index so we'll use this route So in case of error, we'll just stay in the same page. So we'll just use return back. Okay, so let us now run and see. So we'll refresh it. Add category. Okay, so the form is displayed. We we'll just use some style here. Okay, so let us just click on submit. So page expired because we have not added the CSRF token. So we'll just add it here. Okay, it is showing the message. So let us add CSS here. Let us try to submit the form with data. Looks like it is not adding anything, so we have some problem here. If you see the categories table, we have just test data only. The reason is that we have not updated the model, and we need to update the model for the fillable columns. So here, name and description are the fillable columns. So we'll just update it here. Still, it is not working. Let us see. So data is not inserted here. It should be a comma here. So let us just run it now. Okay, data has been inserted. We just need to display the message. If you go to category controller, we are redirecting the user to the index view. So we need to display the message in index view. And in case of error, it stays here. So we will have to add the error message in add category form. So let us do that. So here we'll add the message. So we'll add an alert here, success alert. It will be error here.
some error is here. Okay, so the message is displayed here and the data is successfully added. So now we'll add edit button here to update the category. So here we'll add So for the edit we have the route uh, for edit let us see so we have categories dot edit we have to give the parameter here for the category id so now we have to go to the controller or edit method So here in this case we are not creating a separate uh, view for the edit. So add category form only we will be using. So we are fetching the data from the category for that ID and then calling the add category form only same form. So if we just run it now let us see click on edit so you can see it is showing the add product category only so you need to change this form so that we can use it for update also so first of all we have to change the header so we go to add category so in case of edit we will have the category id available so we will use that So basically we are checking in case in case id is available we will use this form as update otherwise we will use it we will use it as add product category so if you run it now so it is showing update product category now let us see the form action so we have to change the form action also so in case of update we have categories dot update so we will use this route so we'll use the same if else here so this will be our update and this will be store for update we have to use the method put so we'll use this so the route is changed now now we have to change the value also since this is update form so we have to display the existing values also so we'll change the value attribute also here so here also we'll use if else so we are checking in case of uh, category id is available so we'll display the name otherwise blank similarly for description also we'll just copy it okay so our update form is done so let us just try to update an existing category so there is some problem here
okay so for update we have to give the id also so here if you go to the action so this is our categories update we need to give the id also this is our form so now we have to write the controller code for update so we'll just copy the code from the store and paste it in the update method same validation will be applicable here also so instead of create we'll use update and before that we have to find the data so we'll use a where condition So let us try to update an existing category. Let us add a cancel button also here. So in case of cancel, we'll just we'll use the index route. So categories dot index. Let us update this. Okay, so it is successfully updated. You can see. So our add and update form is working. So let us just try another one. Update. Okay, so it's working. Let us add another category. So it is correctly updating. So this way we can use the same form for add and update. So we are using the same view, only one view only, add category, to add the category as well as update the category. So this was a simple application, and we can use the same form for add and update. Hope you could understand this application how it was developed. You can visit the website codehowto.com for a detailed step-by-step -step development guide for this application. You can download the source code. You don't need to register yourself. Please see the description of this video for all the links. Friends, if this video was useful to you, please give a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.